no more confusion between actual Kant and theoretical Kant. So let's begin with what is Kant. So Kant or super elevation is the amount by which one rail is raised above the other rail. With the help of the diagram, you can clearly see how the outer rail, the outer rail is raised with respect to the inner rail by a certain amount and that amount is called a super elevation or Kant. But the question is why we are doing it. As soon as the train is going to come on a horizontal curve, it is going to experience a force that is a centrifugal force. What is the problem with that? This centrifugal force is actually trying to overturn the train. So to nullify this overturning, we need to actually just raise the outer rail with respect to the inner rail. But the question is, what actually is theoretical Kent and actual Kent? But before that, I would like to tell you equilibrium speed. Equilibrium speed is the speed at which the centrifugal force developed during the movement of the vehicle on a curved track is exactly balanced by the Kant provided. So the Kant that you are providing actually on the rail is going to be corresponding to the equilibrium speed or vice versa. The Kant which is provided corresponding to equilibrium speed or we are going to provide the Kant with respect to the equilibrium speed is basically your actual Kant. In general terms, you can also say that the Kant which you have provided actually after all the arrangements that is called as the actual Kant. Secondly, there is this something called as maximum permissible speed. Now, maximum permissible speed is the highest speed permitted to a train on a curve taking into the consideration of radius of curvature, actual Kant, what is Kant efficiency we will see, what is Kant axis we will see and the length of the transition curve. So, obviously, this is one thing is very clear that the maximum speed is going to be greater, is going to greater than the equilibrium speed. So, when the train is moving on equilibrium speed and as soon as that train is going to come on the curve, that train is going to experience very good comfort because it will not feel any kind of discomfort or overturning gesture. But the train who is moving the, with the speed greater than the equilibrium speed, which is a maximum speed, the train will require more value of Kent than the provided one. So how much, how much more is required is called as Kant deficiency, is called as Kant deficiency. So the Kant that we provide corresponding to maximum velocity is called as the theoretical Kant. The difference between the theoretical Kant and the actual Kant is called as Kant deficiency. And there is third Kant also which we provide corresponding to the booked speed or the minimum speed and that Kant has no name, you can just call it any, any anything, right? But there is a limit between that also because see, you have provided the Kant with respect to the equilibrium speed. Now the train moving uh, with the speed more than the equilibrium speed, they feel that it is less. The provided Kant is less. They feel deficiency. So that is why theoretical Kant minus actual Kant is your Kant deficiency. But the train who is moving with the velocity lesser than the equilibrium speed, they will feel the Kant is actually provided more than required. It is an axis. So the Kant corresponding to the booked speed, if you just subtract it from the actual Kant, you will get Kant axis. So these are few things that you should know and how you are going to use them in the question. So this is a sample question. Calculate the super elevation and the maximum permissible speed for a two degree broad gauge transition curve on a high speed route with the maximum sanctioned speed of 110. In the question, there will be three types of speeds given to you. Number one will be the maximum sanctioned speed. Number two will be the equilibrium speed. Number three will be the good strain or the booked speed. You have to find out number one, the super elevation or the Kant corresponding to actual or you can say corresponding to equilibrium speed. Then you will find out the super uh, like uh, your uh, super elevation or you can say your Kant corresponding to maximum speed that will be your theoretical Kant. Then you will subtract them theoretical Kant minus actual Kant. You will get Kant deficiency. You will see whether it is under the limit or not. Then you will find out 
the cant corresponding to book the speed then you will check cant axis is under the limit or not and this is how we are going to solve this question so that is the basic difference between the actual cant or the theoretical cant and uh, how you are going to use it in the examination this i have discussed in the video thank you so much